Hello. Hi. I am here again <laughs> by the sea. And I decided to do this video because for some days now I have been, um, I'm looking at the little, you know, animals that is <laughs> running on this little pond. As you know, uh, okay, let me turn the camera so you can understand what I'm saying, okay? I'm turning the camera. So can you see, it's rocks around here. I am with a special shoes for rock. Let me see if I manage to show you my my shoes. Oops. <laughs> no, I think it's better to do like, oh, it's me. Look, this is the shoes appropriated. More appropriated. Oh, look, here, there, there is two here. I don't know if you can manage to see. They're moving. Let me can you see a scrub there? That is so. <laughs> when when they see they saw my walking, they were like mad trying to escape. I'm not gonna disturb them anyway. Um, there is loads around me these rocks. So I'm planning to talk about something very interesting. But let me found a. a a better location to stand because this place where I'm standing here, look, is too, uh, it's not very comfortable, it's not very plain. So, oh, there is loads of little ones around here. I, I don't want to disturb any of them. So I want to be in a rock more, uh, more like this ones. You know, here, I think here is okay. So the sea is there and I'm not gonna be crazy to get inside because you see, it's all rocks around here. Can you see? It's beautiful place. It's beautiful place. Look how many. Yeah. Sometimes you come here with the chairs and then you place the chairs and sit on the rocks like this and just feeling the water on the on the feet. That is very interesting. Well, there is a story in uh, in the look. I have to be very careful not to fall one of those with my phone in the hands. <laughs> That's not very clever, is it? Oops, there is more here. So, what I'm saying is, there is uh, one portion of the Holy Scriptures, not just on the Bible, but uh, on uh, other, other, um, others, um, uh, religions book about Jesus, or some something that happens with Jesus. And the woman and it's very interesting because when I was young I was always amazed by this and sometimes I was upset with the situation and I said how came a man like Jesus should say something that to a woman that is suffering and with so many problems she was just trying to, you know, she was just trying to solve her problems and, uh, you know, to help her daughter. But the story goes like this. Jesus was uh, in, the, in the Galilee. So he was tired after the, so many preachings, etc. So he said to his disciples, that he didn't wanna, he didn't wanna be disturbed. See, he went to a house. When you say, when I say he went to a house, you can imagine, uh, you know, this type of house that we have got today. But they were not like this, you know. The houses on those days were different. Sometimes they were just about three or four rooms. But then Jesus went to there and said, "I don't wanna be disturbed because I'm tired. I wanna some quietness." But then this woman heard that Jesus was in the town and her daughter was very sick her daughter had a lot of fits and you know and on those days 
every person that has some types of feet uh, was considered like a possession by a demon. So that's why she said to Jesus, Jesus, my daughter is suffering a lot and uh, she's in the bed and she doesn't even go out of the bed because the spirit come over her and takes her and uh, then uh, she has to be tied up on the bed and she never leaves the bed and I, I, I can't take this anymore. I want you to help me. To get to Jesus was a, a challenge also because his disciples had the order from Jesus that not to be disturbed. But this woman took some advantage probably. She, when someone was not looking, she managed to get inside the house. Or probably she was friend of someone in the house, so they managed to get her inside. So she was in front of Jesus, and then Jesus said to her, and that woman was amazing because she was not a Jewish woman. She was a Syrian Phoenicia woman. She was a Greek. She was from Greece, and she was living in, uh, in Syria. And uh, so Jesus looked at her and said, Woman, I didn't come to save Gentiles or Greeks or Syrians. I came from the Israeli people. So I'm not going to give anything, my bread, to all the ones that are not Jewish people. And that woman said to him, yes, sir, I know that. <laughs> but, you know, the dogs, because he called her dog, you know, says, look, the bread, the, the, the bread is for the, for the, for the children of the, of the house, not for the dogs. And then she said, yes, sir, but the dogs eat the crumble that comes down and drops from the table to the floor. And then Jesus, okay, woman, go, your daughter is healed. And uh, I was always very, very intrigued by this conversation with Jesus and this Greek woman. And then, I always thought about it and say, why the heck Jesus treat a woman like this? Because he was very friendly of woman. He was protecting woman. But this one, but then I, I thought, okay, probably he did it not to, especially to that woman. He was not trying to, to uh, uh, you know humiliated that woman but he was trying to give us a lesson 2000 years after this incident you know that even when you are you are facing challenges when you are facing setbacks in your life when things apparently doesn't go in the way you want it to go and when you face something that even from the from the from the holy people because you know if someone else said that to her, okay, it was okay, but when you come to the top, top, because Jesus was the top, top. He was like the, the last uh, resource that she can go. And even then, this last resource was denying her for the, the, the pledging that was making that you know, the need that she had, it, it was the last, the last uh, resource. But even then, facing the last resource of it, she was brave enough to say, no, sir, but you know, the crumbs, the, the, the little pieces of the bread that comes down from the table, the dogs can eat. And this is amazing. When you face something, even you go to the last resource, okay, sometimes you have some problems, like a, a health problems, okay. They say to you, oh, you have a cancer, or you have something that not, is not possible for, for me to do anything else. But then, if a doctor say that to you, you have the last resource, that is God. But if, even if God say, no, you can come to me because I'm not going to heal you, or I'm not giving you what you are asking for. Even then, you can say, yes, sir, I know, but you can give me at least a little 
a little a little piece of what I'm asking for and then this attitude this attitude is gonna give you what you wanted because the attitude of that woman at the end of that conversation was what giving give give her whatever she was asking for that the heal of her daughter so even when you face setbacks from the higher sources let's continue praying let's continue to begging for what he wanted because if that's the attitude that God wants us to have and today I was uh, watching something on the YouTube and the guy said look I uh, he had a very very ex special experience in the spirituality and then he, one day he asked why me why I am I am able to have all these experiences why me and then the uh, the, the the spiritual source that uh, accompanies him that works with him said look because you are curious you keep in asking you keep in begging you keep searching you can you, you keep in knocking the door so we came to tell you whatever you want to know so he told us today i heard that from him today that what makes us, re us receive whatever you wanted is us knocking the door knocking the door never never give up you know what i mean so if you want to have experiences you have to ask you have to knock you have to go after it you have to search you have to you, you have to go and try to find whatever never ceases never cease to ask for never cease to beg ne spiritually i'm talking about spiritually okay so if you want to have experiences i do have lots of experiences but because i never give up i always say i want more please give me more i want more experiences i want to i want to know whatever is for example the sea here this beautiful sea okay i want to know what is underneath that water if i if i want to know what is underneath that water i have to dig i have to dive it so that is spiritually also if you want to see something if you want to receive something you have to dive in it you have to search you have to go and and try to find that that's my eternal eternal uh, searching for the truth eternal searching i i have been searching from when i was very young you know very young and as i you know i'm studying uh, 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 this this book called uh, urantia book and this is teach me so much okay if you if even if you give just 50 percent of what is in there if you take at least 50 percent as true you can you can take the rest 50 and throw in the bin but this 50 is gonna open your mind so much that you're gonna look at the ocean, you're gonna look at the sky, you're gonna look at the, the land, you're gonna look at the rocks, and you're gonna see another, it's gonna be another vision. You know, it's gonna be another knowledge, because when I look at it, I know how old this is, I know how much life that is in it, and I respect it, and I love it, and, and, and the sea, I love the sea, because I know I, I, I came from the sea. You know what I mean? So knowledge, knowledge and searching for the truth is un, is unbelievable, uh, unbelievable, uh, uh, great and and uh, and and give you more knowledge, give more deepness in the what life is about. Life is not like me and you. Life is about this water. Life is about these rocks. Life is about the living creature that is in this water, in these rocks here. There is plenty of them. So let's be like that woman, that Syrian Phoenician Greek woman. She had three, three uh, uh, DNA on her bo on her blood, and she didn't have any any Jewish one. I do have Jewish on my on my DNA. My kids have Jewish in their DNA. You know, so I can beg it. I can say, yes, I'm not 100% Jewish, but I have your DNA on me. And I deserve to know. I deserve to, you know, to have the blessings. I deserve to have uh, the, the opportunity to, to dig on the spiritual, uh, spiritual uh, world. 
that is my umbrella there. <laughs> and this blue blue uh, bag I found here on the sea. And then uh, I found all this stuff here, even a, a, gla a piece of glass that was broken and very dangerous. So, yeah, is another thing that you, you, you have to learn. When you go to places, not just enjoy it, but protect it. <laughs> protect it. Okay, let me turn the camera now. You have seen a lot. And I hope you, you understood my message. Turning the camera. The sea now is behind me. So yes, that is a lot to be known. That is a lot to be known. And I challenge you, I challenge you to get to know this, you know? Okay, you can't say to me, Miriam, you are lucky because you are visiting so many places, you are, you know, uh, traveling and you can uh, be in Mediterranean Sea and I, I can't. No, you can, you can. <laughs> if, I, if I tell you that I was born in a city of 60,000 people, very poor okay when i was born you didn't have electricity in our in our house my mom cook in a in a in a wood cooker okay the, the, that one from the 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 country yes it, it was a wood and she didn't even have a gas a gas a, a, a cooker on those days <laughs> and i am here you know i was born in a poor family but you know the difference? Because I, 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 I beg, I search, I, I, I go after it. I am proactive, you know, spiritually proactive, not materially. Because I, I don't have money. I have some, some money in the bank for my, 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 my expenses, you know. But I have the privilege of going around places. Not because I have money, but because I have them. <laughs> I have them and they want to be in these places and then say, okay, I think that's what I normally, I when I go to places, I said, okay, my guides, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> that's, you want to go down there, that's, you are using my body to go to that places. Okay, let's go. I'm not afraid, let's go, let's enjoy. Do you understand? That's the message I want to tell you. Let's be like that woman. Even with all challenges in front of her, all the obstacles in front of her, that was, you know, stopping her to have her blessing. She didn't give up. She said, okay, I'm not pure. <laughs> I am a foreigner, but I deserve it. That's why I'm begging you, kill, heal my daughter. And then Jesus said, okay, your daughter is healed, go. And she went house and her daughter was healed. And I think the daughter was healed not because Jesus said, heal your daughter, because she, she said anything about it. She didn't, he, he didn't say, oh, oh, I healed your daughter, I bless your daughter. She didn't say anything like this. I think she was healed because the moment her mother said, okay, I don't deserve it, but I can I can take the, the little pieces that comes out from the table. I can take this little piece of bread that comes out of the table. I think that moment was when her daughter was healed. Not by Jesus, but her own self. That's another message. Okay? Okay, I'm going to finish this video. I'm going to dip on, again on these waters because... These waters is good for my, my, my health. It's very salted and so it's very good. And uh, I'm walking on here. And we can see in another video. Okay? And just appreciate that beauty. That is beautiful. God bless you. Keep you safe and me also. Look, all brown now. It's very hot today. It's uh, about 36 on the sun, or probably more. And you see, this the sun making my lips 
burn and my my body also look meat is not white anymore <laughs> i am now red color <laughs> I, okay i have red on my blood also because i have the you know the american indians from incas and from the red people from united states i do have this on my blood also so i am a, a big mix of everything so god bless you and keep you safe and me also bye bye